Hi everybody, this is Dennis Delay here, and uh, I'm going to show you a few screenshots from my video so that you'll have an idea what it's like. I'm just going to try to skip around. I don't have a bunch of uh, expensive video editing equipment. So this is actually footage of the actual screen, what it looks like. So this should give you an idea, okay? All right. There's a shot, all, all 21 chapters are laid out so you can navigate through it. And there's the three windows right there. And all you do is click on them, you know, the tune up and the guitar playing window. And then when you hit start here, it'll bring you into this right here, which is pretty cool. Open and give you an idea of it. say all, all the time and the, just about every lesson is shot from the front and then over the shoulder like this so you get you can actually see under my fingers and see what I'm doing and it's not upside down and backwards okay Goes on for a Hi while. everybody, I'm Dennis Delay and I'd like to welcome you to my Texas Blues Guitar instructional video. Okay, just so we can avoid a whole bunch of confusion, I'm going to uh, remind you that we're tuned to E flat and I'm going to play each string. Uh, Okay, one of the first things I want to show you is that the, the opening lick kind of opens the door to all the other licks, and it's the first thing. Okay, so we learned the key to the highway, which is this. And, uh, okay, now, in position number one, which is right here on the seventh fret, I'm going to show you the lick that I use most commonly as a blues scale. So this is where the 21 chapters start of... Uh, you know, I show it from the front, I explain it, uh, you can see under my fingers, and, and then we come from over the shoulder, and so that you can see under the fingers, and uh, I'll do it a couple of times, each lick, and then I'll slow it down and do it again, until, and then I'll slow it down even more and do it again. And I go over a whole bunch of, probably, I don't know, 15, 20, 25 different licks in the course of this thing, so... Here's how I do my bends. The bend is probably the most important thing that goes with the blues because that's how you get that crying sound. And uh, I don't like mine to be too fast, too slow, or, you know, there's there's different sound that you want for each kind of song. But this is my basic bend, and this is the bend to the one in the key of B of E. Okay, one of the very first things I learned how to do when I started playing guitar, uh, as far as blues goes, was in Dallas in about 68, uh, 69. I learned how to do a shuffle, a rhythm. Uh, it was called the, the basic Jimmy Reed rhythm. And, and I'll show it to you. And then after I got really used to it I, and comfortable with it, I learned how to embellish on it a little bit. Okay, so these are some of the licks that I've had the most requests for, emails for, and these are my own signature licks that I, of course, got from hundreds of other guitar players. Nobody has anything that's 100% original of their own, I don't think. But I learned these from listening to other guitar players, just like everybody else does. And I'll tell you the person, that the, the first person I heard do it. This is a Hendrix lick. And it's probably, by the way, of Albert King. It's a combination of both things, but it's a ending lick. So. And the gist of it is you slide up on the E string, 
and then come back on the G on your minor third. Okay? Okay, here's a couple of licks that I heard on Albert King records years ago in the 60s. And uh, this is how I do them. One of them is this, and this is a beautiful lick that he does all the time. But say you're in B and he do like this. That's kind of a turnaround of his, okay? So it's... And the other one is where he bends the G string a little bit and then pops up with his finger on the E string, which is... Okay, so there's, like I said, there's 21 different chapters, and each of them has two or three different licks, and it runs uh, rhythms, uh, the instruments, the amps, the effects. So uh, anyway, there you go. There's a good idea what it looks like. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you stopping by.